Hey guys! I have an old video showing how to make cutlery using pommel clay, but I've never been completely happy with the look of that. So today it's time for an updated version using a different material. The cutlery I used when I first started out were these metal ones you can buy. Only problem is that they're way too big for 1 to 12 scale, and quite frankly, I don't really like the look of them. The pieces of cutlery I've used since then, and I will continue to use this, is the plastic ones you can get. They're much more true to scale, and I love the super metallic look. The problem with these are that you can't bake them. So if you wanted to make something like a bowl of soup and you wanted the spoon to be in the soup, you can't really use them. But also if you just wanted something very specific, it's nice to be able to make your own. So let's get started. What I'll be using in this video is called Art Emboss and it's made by the brand Emmaco. This is basically just thin sheets of metal. Now if you don't have this, there are other things you can use. Try finding thin sheets of metal like the ones from disposable aluminum trays, holders from tea lights or something like that. I also tried doing this with a couple of the thinner copper sheets I had and it worked just as well. A couple of things you want to consider though is that the thinner the sheet of metal is, the less sturdy your piece will be, so normal tin foil won't work for this. But the thicker the sheet of metal you're using, the harder it'll be to add details, so some pieces might be really good for making bowls, while they're not that great for making a spoon or fork. All you'll need for this is your thin sheet of metal, a soft surface like an eraser or the back of a mold, and a few tools like ball tools, studding tools and needle tools. Then just start embossing the metal. You'll need to work on both sides depending on whether you want it to be protruding like I did for the handles, or if you want it to be a dent like the inside of a spoon. Once you're done, cut it out and correct the shape if needed. These are not so sturdy that I would recommend using them as a toy, but they're sturdy enough to use for miniature scenes since those aren't meant to be handled too much. However, if you have a spoon in a bowl of soup, you of course don't want it to bend too easily, so on the back I added liquid clay and then a strip of metal from a thicker sheet, in this case a chocolate tin. If you want the back to be smooth, just add more liquid clay on top of the metal strip and then paint it with a good silver colored paint after baking. And if you want the back of your fork or spoon or knife or whatever you're making to be facing up on your miniature scene, I'd recommend just working on the opposite side and focus on making the back as opposed to the front, which I'm making in this video. Another method you can use which is really great if you want to have a piece with details on the handle or lots of other things is to make a master from pommel clay. Here I'm just making a simple knife. Thank you. 
Place it on a base and bake. Then once you're done, place your metal sheet on top and use your tools to emboss it. The small heart-shaped bowl you can see in the picture was made the same way you'd make the inside of spoon, but just making a heart shape with your ball tools instead of making an oval or round shape. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video.